on our website, you can find many more diagrams to play with. Some of them are easier, others are more challenging. Play in those diagrams. Try and understand which player has a strategy and why. Do you think we did math today? Okay, so did you have fun? Yes! And do you think we did maths? Yes! Okay, yes, actually we did a lot of maths. So where do you think the math was? Math was in the games. Mm -hmm. Why does this game have to do with math? Shapes. Mm -hmm. and, and the strategy games. Why? Problem solving. You're thinking what measure you're going to play. We did math because of problem solving and strategic thinking, but actually, mathematics and shapes are at the very core of this game. These games have been invented by a mathematician called Claude Shannon and have been studied by mathematicians at university. The strategy for a game depends only on the shape of the diagram. By looking at the diagram, a mathematician can tell you which player has a strategy and why. However, as the diagram gets bigger, it is a bit more difficult to understand which player has a strategy. You are behaving as a little mathematician when you are looking at the shape, studying the shape, playing and trying to understand which player has a strategy on that particular shape. Now you can try and draw your own diagram and then challenge your friends and your classmates. Try and draw a diagram where Kat has a strategy or a diagram where Join has a strategy or a diagram where the first player has a strategy. Try and understand why that player has a strategy. You can email us your diagrams if you want. We will use the most interesting ones for our activities. And if you want, we can write your name on them. So you will be famous. Yay! If you want a hint on how to understand which player has a strategy, look at our website. What's the point of this? And where do we use this in our everyday life? Watch the next video to find out some examples.